In this video, I'm going to review auxiliary views. Now, when you use a typical front, top, right side view, it's fine for rectangular shapes, but whenever you have an angled surface, it creates a special situation. So you can see in this example here, the way this these features are projected over is in the right side view. Those are distorted. So the height of that is distorted, the shape of those slots. Same thing here when you project this up, that's going to be distorted. Project that up, it's going to be distorted. So you have to do things a little bit differently. So here's a pretty good example of a surface that's got some angles to it. Uh, part of the challenge is going to be just determining the views. So what would be the right side view to show the most information? Uh, if you were to choose this view, the problem is that a lot of the stuff is distorted. So you can see how this is supposed to be a round hole, but it looks elliptical or oval. So that shape is distorted. Also, these dimensions are going to be distorted here. The height of that surface is not correct. Same thing with this top view, distorted circle, dimension that's distorted. This is the only view, one of the few views. We could do a bottom view, that very little information from that. And you can see the true size and shape of the part that's coming from the side. And actually the length of that surface is correct. So this isn't a very good drawing. For example, how would I call out that diameter or the location of that hole? So what we're gonna do is add an auxiliary view. So let me look at this other example. So we have an angled surface. If you project over to a right side view, this, all these surfaces are going to be distorted. They're going to be shortened because you're no longer looking directly at that surface. The beauty of these front top right side view is we tre see true size and shape of the features. That's not the case here for this right side view. This part of the object is going to be distorted. So this part of the object is going to be distorted. Now this part's fine from here to here because I'm looking directly at that feature. Likewise here, this part's okay because I'm looking directly at it, but when I'm looking down here, everything gets shortened. This gets uh, shortened, the circles no longer look round. So those are problems with our traditional front top right side technique there. So as you get more complex parts, you're gonna see more and more angled surfaces and angled features. So, you know, again, we're look, used to looking at these perpendicular views. The problem here is this isn't, this surface right here is not true size and shape because I'm not looking perpendicular to it because of that, because I have that inclined surface, these views get distorted. So what I want to do is look perpendicular to it. So if I, if I look at this perpendicular, I can see the true size and shape. So that's going to be an auxiliary view. Now this isn't the right presentation yet, but you should be able to get the concept here, what we're trying to do. Once you look perpendicular to a feature, you can see exactly what it looks like. So in this case, what we've done is a couple of things. We've created an auxiliary view. So that auxiliary view now is looking directly at this surface here. So think about these lines here are perpendicular. So if I drew a line to that corner, that'd be perpendicular. So I just roll that up and over. And I'm, now I'm going to see the true size and shape of all the features. The holes around, the spacing between everything is correct. Now what happens here a lot of times with auxiliaries, uh, as we already talked about, there was a lot of distortion with this top part of this view and with the right side of this view. So they'll show partial views, partial side view, because this is correct. True size and shape because I'm perpendicular. And this is correct, again, because I'm perpendicular. And it's these are showing important features. I need those views. So this, is, this drawing is created with partial right side and partial top view, and then a partial auxiliary view. Because the same thing happens here. If I were to project these features up and over, they become distorted as well. So sometimes we'll do partial auxiliaries and partial views. That's a little bit tricky to do with SOLIDWORKS, actually. It uh, takes a, lot, a little bit of time to do it. So it's okay to show these views as long as you have space. And that's part of the challenge is how do you have enough room on your drawing surface now to show those views. And here's a drawing that was done correctly. So it goes back to that earlier example. So this front view shows the true size and shape. Now it's not a, by itself, it's not a great view, but if you put all the pieces together and I can dimension all these features here and they're accurate. 
my right side view, I've got distortion on any of these features here. Again, any of these any of these features here, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem with. Um, these dimensions are okay. This overall is okay, but you've got distortion here. So I'm going to put an auxiliary view. It's projected over this auxiliary view here. It shows exactly what you see from that point of view and you can see the hole is around and the dimensions that locate. Now be careful about these other parts of the object because they may be distorted so be careful about what you dimension to. Again don't put dimensions on that part of the drawing it's distorted on that part. Don't put dimensions because you're looking at them from an angle. 